He's a TikTok star and he's also got Elton John's attention and Elton John says he's going to be a global sensation in the future as big as himself. Great words from a legend that is Elton John. He is today's guest, Stephen Sanchez. Welcome to CC Europe Pop Music. After so many people wanting you on my channel, you're finally here. It's been a year of revelations with music, new artists coming to my channel, and I've concentrated on the long list I had from last year to get them onto my channel. And finally, you're here in the run-up to autumn from a wonderful hot summer that we've enjoyed here in Ireland. And your music touches the soul. If you've got an old soul, you're going to love this young man. From Elvis covers to different songs, he's now dropping lots of new music and he's putting everybody in a frenzy. He's Well, he's got everybody in a frenzy that follows him. And who follows him? 1.4 million and counting TikTok followers. And also, he sent me on a high and I thought, seeing as he sent me on a high, I'm going to play high. I'll tell you all about this guy and more in just a moment. He is Stephen Sanchez, an American pop singer who gained fame through, as I've just mentioned, TikTok postings. Born in North Carolina, began his career writing songs in his bedroom. After his video for Lady by the Sea received over 2 million views on TikTok, he signed a record contract with Republic Records. I have to say Republic Records. I featured a lot of your artists on my channel and you never seem to fail when it comes to having your finger in the pie of new trends, new songs, new artists to showcase. And I'm the same. So another one from Republic Records. Welcome. In 2020, Stephen released his original single and a year later his debut EP. What Was, Not Now was released to great success, featuring the hit single Until I Found You. Other hits include Kayla, The Pool and I Want You. People ask, who is Stephen Sanchez? He is, as I said, the American singer-songwriter who fell in love with music whilst visiting his maternal grandmother's, uh, sorry, grandparents' house. There he spent countless hours searching for and listening to records by artists such as Frank Sinatra, The Platters, Nack and Cole and The Ink Spots. Later, through the radio, he discovered Foster the People and Cage the Elephant. These artists inspired him to start playing the guitar and then to start writing songs in his bedroom. So he's worked hard to get to where he is, everybody. In high school, Stephen Sanchez earned the reputation of being the guitar guy. And in 2019, he uploaded a live version on Nights When It's Cold to YouTube without much expectation. But after a while, he decided to try his look on, on TikTok, where he began to gain recognition with short videos. In June 2020, he posted a version of The Cage, The Elephant's Cigarette Daydreams that became very popular, with over, at the time of this research, 161,000 views on the app. And it's garnered, I believe, over a million at this stage. Slowly, he built an audience, and by 2020, he had 120,000 followers. And it's since what, exploded. Now, from 2020, he posted a song, Lady by the Sea, on TikTok. It went viral, receiving over 2 million. You see how he's really jumped. And 480,000 likes, attracting the attention of Jeremy Sucker. Well, I have to say, Stephen, since January of this year, I've gone from 6,000 in my own situation, subscribers, to now, sorry, 85 subscribers to now hitting 7,000 subscribers and I'm really really happy and I'm hitting my first honest million views for my channel in time for Christmas of this year I couldn't be happier going into even next year already so I know what it's like young man to work hard and to see it grow and go wow but you finally the single was released on uh, July 2020 and from the start the song and this is the song Lady by the Sea by the way 
had 4.5 million streams on Spotify. As a result, Sanchez quickly signed a contract with Republic Records in October 2020. He moved to the studio in Nashville and from there he recorded all the material for that debut EP. Now before the debut, his next single Kayla was released in 21. Then in September, the promotional single Until I Found You was released and became a viral hit on TikTok, accumulating a large number of streams on Spotify. Was included in the retro pop chart, reached number five in Spotify daily viral songs chart, and it also rose to number eight on the Apple Singer songwriter chart. He quotes, music is healing, it's therapy, that's the hope. It certainly is. And that's my channel, getting people like you on my channel to heal people, to actually smash that myth. The music industry since the 80s has died. No, it hasn't, everybody. The 90s came after the 80s. And from then, it's been a slow build up. But now there's an explosion on social media of people like Stephen to prove that isn't the case. So back up to date. Curiosities of Stephen Sanchez. He wrote the song Still I Found You in 10 minutes, he said at the time, and a voice to note a person who inspired the song who we liked a lot. The song is about a girl he likes. I wrote the song in 10 minutes, he quoted at the time. Then I made a voice note, <coughs> excuse me, and sent it to her. She loved it. And that's all the song needed to be. It was just a song about a girl I like, you know. And his musical influences. Elvis, the Platters, Inkspots, as I've mentioned before. He's an obsession with the 1950s styles styles since he was a child and he's fascinated by glamorous cars cinemas and vibrant colors of that era and that's what i say about the old soul i want you to listen to this if you're a big big fan of stephen sanchez you will also love from chile who sings in english and spanish nico ruiz who i will attach to this video check him out on my channel I call him the Michael Bublé of 2023. I'm going to do a bit of a drum roll. And I'm going to say the person that Stephen Sanchez is, is a living reincarnation, old soul of the infamous, legendary man that was. And in many people's eyes still is a music legend when they listen to his music. Jerry Lee Lewis. That's who this young man in quite a few of his songs has reminded me of. He's a reincarnation and boy as well as liking Elton John and Elton John loving him. That is some quote to make but I make it from the heart. You like Nico Ruiz who is the 2023 Michael Bublé and has an old soul and loves Frank Sinatra as well, are paving the way to prove that there's a lot of people out there who just love to live the past, but in the present. And in the present today, we have this particular song. It's called High. And what is High about? And I'll give you a quick synopsis. It appears to revolve around the theme of intense desire, this song you're about to hear, and infatuation. The lyrics depict a pas passionate longing for someone to the point where the protagonist is willing to go to great lengths to make the other person experience those intense emotions. That's what this song's about. Let's take a listen and I will be back with my synopsis of the lyrics and then I'll go into them. Take it away, Stephen Sanchez. Oh, you want to need the slumber And do the lap before the thunder Tell me, is there any wonder About where we stand Little honey in the summer Fell in love with Hunter Oh, I can't have this I'm gonna get you so
Doesn't he get you on a high, doesn't he? And this will get you on a high as well. In the first verse, the lyrics suggest the protagonist wants to awaken the other person from the state of indifference, pull you underneath the slumber, it says, and experience a profound connection into the light before the thunder, it states. There is a sense of curiosity about where the relationship stands, perhaps indicating uncertainty or complexity. The chorus reinforces the intensity of the protagonist's desire, emphasizing their in intent to evoke strong emotions in the other person. The use of imagery such as getting someone high and the physical reactions like reeling and kneeling suggest a desire for an overwhelming and transformative experience. The second verse reveals the inner conflict of the protagonist. They acknowledge their infatuation has escalated to a level they may question or consider inappropriate. It quotes, look how out of a hand it's gotten. However, they admit that they cannot let go of their longing and would willingly express their emotions if given the chance. Overall, High expresses a passionate yearning for someone where the protagonist is willing to push boundaries and take risks to create an intense emotional connection. The song captures the intoxicating and thrilling nature of desire, a beat with hints of uncertainty or ambiguity in the relationship. That is my summary of the lyrics in total. The lyrics will be, as always, in the description with links to Stephen Sanchez. And again, welcome to my channel. There'll be more of you and more synopsis for all of you to savour. You see, I did get round to him eventually. I told you I would. Take care for now and thanks for listening.